I've got a treat for you today. I'm going to cook again, and I'm going to make a full-bodied sausage sandwich for you. Now, I know some of you are vegetarians, but you know what? You can get a vegetarian sausage, and they're good. Um, there's Morning, Morning Star, and there's Boca. There's all kinds of brands now that do vegetarian, keto. I'm going to do the real, I got Hillshire Farms beef sausage. And I'm going to make a really nice um, sausage sandwich for you. Now, I will do a disclaimer. <laughs> I don't, I'm not like Food Network, right? Where they practice what they what they cook. I do not practice. This is all improv. Okay, I'm getting my stove ready. This is all improv. I'm just going to, I thought of it. I'm, I'm winging it <laughs> and I'm going to make it for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera down. I'm just getting everything ready. Put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. I'll still talk, but you don't need to look at me all the time. You want to look at the food, right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this on low because there's a few things I want to prepare first. We'll push this over so you can see the. This is my cutting board. I'm going to dice some onions really small and not a lot. This meal is going to be perfect for just one person or you could do the whole sausage if you were going to make it for your friends, possibly at a campfire. I'm gonna do these pretty small here. Let's see, that seems kinda of hard there. There we go. Yeah, just, I want these to be diced small. If I had a cleaver, I could just, well, I guess that's pretty good. Let's get this in here. Now, what I'm also going to do with my sausage is this is enough for two more meals, I do believe. So, in the next couple days, I'm going to do more with this sausage here. Let me get the sausage open. It says, easy open, right there. These are the only buns I could find for a decent price. So what I'm going to do is I want to cut my sausage to the size of my bun. You can also get keto buns. Let's see. Let's measure this out. Yeah. I want it to stick out just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. This, this I'm going to put, I don't have a refrigerator or an ice chest, but I'll put this in Paul's refrigerator in just a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this sausage in half. Turn the heat up just a little bit. I'm going to make two sandwiches, one for myself and one for Paul. Put on there. And I'm going to cut this pickle in half. Yeah. I don't want to overwhelm the sandwich. 
I'm going to try to get some of the juice off. I don't want to overwhelm this sandwich with pickles. This is so easy. Look at this. New plate. This is a very easy, easy lunch. Dinner, lunch. Let's see, look at this. Open oh, this, doesn't want to open up very easy. There we go. I'm going to put the mustard on first. Now you could put any any kind of condiment on here of your choice. Just warming up. Pickle. If you want more pickles, I would go for it. Like maybe I could put a little one more pickle. There we go. Turn it over. We'll put the cheese on here. There. I can turn this off now, just let it see, see if it'll melt a little bit more. Okay, go now. I think I'm gonna do this with my hand. There we go. Whoops. Up oh, there goes the cheese. We can save this, can't we? There we go. We'll save it. <laughs> okay. There we go. And I'm going to turn this this way. There we go. Some onions. This one's a little bit messy. <laughs> there we go. But actually, it looks really good, right? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, like I said, this is improv, people. <laughs> These are my favorite, favorite, favorite chips of all time. <laughs> the original Lay's. Get the sandwich here. Here we go. Yum. Oh. Eight. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. <coughs> Mm hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Mm. 
Now, what you could do is, if you were going to take this out to the campfire to serve, like a treat for everybody, you could cut each one in half. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> probably be easier to eat if you kind of cut it in half. This is really, really good. And it's perfect for like, if you're watching a ball game or you're serving or you're just out as a nomad, you're out picnicking, you're out at your picnic table, or it's a Sunday afternoon, you just want to watch a movie, you want something good to eat. My goal is to give you ideas. These are ideas that you can cook in your van and you don't have to go to a restaurant to get good food. Now, the sausage was $3, I believe $3.68, and the buns were about $2.50. So really it was about $5, maybe six. But the buns, you can find cheaper buns. You really can. I just, at the Walmart I went to, they were out of their cheapest brands. So you could probably get by with like $4.50. And the sausage is going to make two more meals. And you got your buns. You could be making, what you could do with that is maybe like a a pickle and a onion sandwich. Yeah, with just cheese. Something like that. So, bon appetit. Your balance exercise for the day is stand hold, having a chair on one side of you and a chair on the other, especially both of the chairs if you have balance issues. One foot goes in front of the other, very close, and look straight ahead, but I want you to swing your arms from side to side. You can just do this with me. Put the other leg forward and do the same thing. Do about 10 to 20 of these for your balance. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, male, female. We need to keep our balance going. If we don't have good balance, we're going to fall. We're not going to live a good quality life. Next, we're going to replenish our fluids. I want you to get some water. This is a reminder, and drink your water. Your kidneys are flushing out all toxins and it's purifying your blood. Here's some statistics for you. The average height of a female in the United States is five feet four inches. The average weight of a female that is five four is from 20 to 39 age 167 pounds so young people you still have to watch your diet and exercise and do your balance exercises now age group 40 to 60 the average weight in America is 176 pounds and from 60 up the average weight for somebody that's 5'4 is 166 pounds so um as far as weight goes for me i'm 5'3 but i weigh 135 pounds so somebody that's 20 years old to 40 weighs 167 pounds that's a lot 
We've got to take control of our balance, our exercising, and our diet. This is just some stats, and it's a reminder. Hi, everyone. Well, I'm here with <laughs> my trusty sidekick, who, <laughs> no, not Lee, Abby. Little Abby here. Yeah. Yeah, she likes... She likes to be uh, petted, and and she kind of tries to uh, return the favor, which is kind of cute. But anyway, hey, Abby and I wanted to uh, bring you up to date on something that some of you might be very interested in, and some of you could care less. But what it is, is uh, we ran across a uh, news bulletin, if you will, that the South Dakota legislature, both their Senate and their House of Representatives in South Dakota, have introduced, uh, each has introduced a bill that will essentially do the same thing. And what they're trying to do is make sure that people that want their domicile, their residency in the state of South Dakota, actually have their residency there not just an address at a uh, rv park or or a mail service or something like that each of those uh, bodies in the south dakota legislature have introduced bills uh, that are very very similar and they have those bills have now gone to committee i understand which is the next step to making them law and so it's something that you might want to tune into and be aware of. If you look for the latest uh, bills that have been introduced in the South Dakota legislature, both the Senate and the House, they uh, have introduced these bills that they want to make sure that everything is on the up and up as far as people using South Dakota as a domicile really have a residency in South Dakota. Now, I don't know if these things are going to pass. It's a little, uh, it's only been introduced in the month of February this year, uh, but it's going to be interesting to see if they run those through and pass them. It's going to be interesting to see if maybe other states in uh, Nevada, Florida, Arizona, in my case, if the other states uh, where people uh, use their domicile uh, will wind up doing the same thing. But anyway, it's something that each of us that are full-time nomads that are using a uh, other state's domicile uh, ought to pay attention to. See what's going to be happening in South Dakota, first of all, whether these go through and then maybe other su uh, states will follow suit. So I just wanted to make mention of that, give you something to look at. And uh, if you don't have your domicile in South Dakota, you don't have to worry about this one, but still keep your ear to the tracks, as they say, because other states may wind up doing the same thing. So for Abby and I, that's a little tidbit of news for today. Take care. Carpe diem, seize the day. I'm about halfway through Dead Poet Society. What a great movie, huh? That is an oldie but goodie. And the message is wonderful. But I did remind me, I just thought I would mention to you and remind you, uh, Carpe diem, seize the day. And as um, he said in the movie, um, we are food for worms <laughs> someday. I know that sounds horrible. But you know, we won't be here forever. And I'm sure that, and I'm not sure, I know for fact, everybody has a purpose here. Sometimes we don't realize it till we're older. And so if you feel that maybe you haven't discovered your purpose yet, um, I'm sure that God has something that he wants you to do before you leave this earth. So let's all seize the day, carpe diem. I just wanted to remind everybody. Now, I also want to remind you about... Through night, I have another flashlight. This is called the Catapult Pro. The numbers on this Catapult Pro is V6 
SST70. If that means anything, but when you, I'll leave the link. But if you're looking for this on your own, that that's the full the full number of this. It's a Catapult Pro, and it has approximately 6,800 lumens, and it has a distance throw of. 692 meters, allowing you to see in any harsh situation. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Now, whenever you get a through night, they have it um, unscrewed just a little bit so that it, in case it goes on, I know I got my, my um, bug, I got my bug glasses. <laughs> okay, so you just screw this completely and then turn it on. That's a wide beam. That is, wow, yeah. Now when you just turn it on and you hold the press, it always goes to Firefly, I like that. That's good for inside at night. You don't want anybody to see you too much. But this is an awesome, awesome, look at that. It's good in your hands. It comes with a carrier for your, you can put this on your belt. And it is USB chargeable. Isn't that awesome? You don't have to buy batteries. All of through night flashlights come with, um, it's USB. It's USB-C, which means it, it charges faster. They have like a little rubber over there. There's your charger. And it does come with the USB-C charger, USB on one side and the other on the other side. And it comes with a lanyard and little other little like um, rubber rings and things in case you need to um, do maintenance on this. So this is through night. Great customer service. I am sold on through night. This is the one reason I like to feature them. We all in uh, as nomads, we need flashlights in your home. You need flashlights. And how wonderful for USB because if, if, the, if the shit hits a fan, right? Well, if you have a solar panel and you have a, um, a power station, you can just keep everything powered up over and over. You don't have to worry about having batteries delivered because if it does hit the fan, there'll be no delivery of batteries, right? Okay, right. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minivan Lee's Life in her minivan. Let me take this off. I love you guys a lot. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Go to minivanlee.com for net gaiters and glasses and exercise videos and a link to the book. But you can go on amazon.com for the book, How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Lee Way. Yeah. Okay, well, tomorrow's another day. I'll have more cooking for you, and I'll have another balance exercise for you. So have no fear. Minnie Van Lee is here. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.